Hi everyone and welcome back to the Big Bods. If you like minifigures, don't forget to check out our Minifigure Monday playlist. And whilst you're there, maybe subscribe to the channel. Today's minifigure is from series 13 and it's the Unicorn Girl. Now, Ian said that she um, looks odd. Her face looks a bit odd. And he says, oh, I'm not sure why. Normally when he says that, I, I like to pry a little bit more because there's normally an interesting story behind it. And he said that her face is kind of like a teenage girl whose parents have decided to take her out into the, like, the middle of nowhere and abandon her. And they don't. she doesn't really know what's going on. She's sort of just left there in the middle of this field or whatever, waiting for her parents to come back, and she's a bit unsure what's going on. That's the face that he reckons that she's got. Um, so I don't know, maybe because she got... Uh, she dressed up as a unicorn one too many times. Her parents did get fed up of her. Maybe that's just all in Ian's head. It's a bit of an interesting story. I think she's probably just a uh, a girl dressing up as a unicorn. I don't think there's anything more sinister to it than that. Um, she's got some good star detail there. And you probably know that I like purple, but I also am a massive fan of stars. I think stars are the best shape. So I'm happy about that. Some good colouring on both her hands and her feet as well to match those stars. The unicorn head kind of, I can't get away from the feeling that this is the mouth <laughs> and that it's a really wide open mouthed unicorn. I think if you ignore this bit a bit more then it, it looks much nicer. But that way I suddenly think why is that unicorn got his mouth open so wide and it, it just confuses me. Nice purple tail. Always approving of purple. Um, no other real detail at the back, just the tail. So I'll take that uh, unicorn head off and we can see what, whether she's got a second head or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, without the head... I kind of do see the, the worried look, the sort of what's going on look that Ian's mentioning. I don't know, it's kind of like, hmm, it's that kind of face. I like her freckles. I think that's a nice detail. No extra head there, as you can see. I always get disappointed when there's no second face, but I guess one is enough. I'm also sad when they don't have hair to put on. Um... But I don't know how they would do that. Okay, she can have a, a unicorn head back. So where in the city could we put a girl dressed up a, as a unicorn? Um, I think she could be a, a children's entertainer. We've had quite a lot of minifigures along those lines. She could just be having fun and dressed up as a unicorn. I mean, everyone likes to wear a, a onesie every now and then. Um, so this is just going that step further and putting the, the head on as well. I think we can definitely fit her in, and I think especially as she's got a purple tail, I'm I'm happy to include her. I might even um, switch her out, her her uh, unicorn horn out for a purple one, just to um, make her slightly more purple. Although I don't know, that would be changing from the original. Not sure how I feel about that. So where would you put the unicorn girl in your city? What do you think of this minifigure? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.